everybody. So obviously I am not Brandon Campbell, but he felt like his meat was slacking a little bit, needed a little flavor, a little spice. So he asked me to make a video for his channel. Uh, my name is Josie Mai, and I have a fitness and health Instagram account, VM Fitness, and also a new YouTube channel, Josie V Mai. Please check it out if you like what you see today in this video. Um, basically, what I like to do is I like to cook. I'm making breakfast! That looks pretty good. I like to clean. Oh, knock my blender bottle out. I like to iron. I don't think this is right. I don't, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Someone? I like to work out and lift weights. I can do this. <sighs> but in all honesty, I'm very much for the healthy, balanced, fit lifestyle. So I show lots of videos of workouts, of recipes, healthified recipes, and I don't count macros or calories, but I do have a flexible diet. I follow intuitive eating, so that's basically common sense eating, really. Um, you eat when you're hungry, and you stop when you're full. Basically, I went from, when I first started this lifestyle journey, from very restrictive, clean eating, you know, 700 calories a day, two hour long workouts a day, to rebounding and then binging and overeating and gaining back all the weight plus more, got to my highest weight, and then I started doing flexible dieting with If It Fits Your Macros, or IIFYM, and now I am currently happy and just maintaining along intuitive eating. So that's like my life in a nutshell. If you want to find out more, please head to my channel, watch my transformation videos, my vlogs, workouts, recipes. Today I'm going to show you a very easy recipe, a protein cheesecake recipe. Now the macros will be at the end of the video, but the whole thing I think is around like 1400 calories with the crust. It's not that bad compared to a cheesecake factory. Cheesecake where one slice is about a thousand calories. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and thank you very much to Grandpa Campbell right here for allowing me to put a video up on his page. It's helping me out a lot actually and I hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Here are the ingredients that you need for your crust only three of them and you can also substitute peanut butter or any nut butter for the coconut oil and here are the cheesecake filling ingredients only six not that bad at all and then we'll mix them all I used a kitchen scale to kind of be more accurate instead of doing cups or you know fourth cups I left my cream cheese out in room temperature to soften up a little bit because it is a little hard if you get it right out of the fridge so add 8 ounces of that, and then add 12 ounces of your fat-free plain Greek yogurt. Then the rest of your liquid ingredients, which are the 2 eggs and the 6 tablespoons, or 2 egg whites. You're going to mix it together very, very well. You can do it by hand, get a nice arm workout, um, or you can put it in a blender, which is what I end up doing because the cream cheese is kind of clumpy. So for a smoother texture, pop it into a blender or magic bullet like I did, and it should get nice and soft. Now you're just going to pop in your dry ingredients. So I use this sweetener. You can use any sweetener you want. And then for the whey powder, I used MGN, Muscle Gauge Nutrition Vanilla, two scoops of that whey protein. And then finally, you're just going to mix it all up together again. And people go static. You know it must be us, cause we always wreak havoc. See, I just wish the people could relax. So you're done mixing, put that aside, and then work on your crust now. Basically just break up three to four graham cracker sheets, however many you want. Depends on how thick you like your crust. Like a thick, then add more graham crackers. Blend it all up until it's like a powder like so. Then you're gonna add in your coconut oil or your peanut butter. Again, using peanut butter might save in the calories. I think it's like 180 for two tablespoons of peanut butter, but like 200 for coconut oil. All up to you. And then I optionally add this pancake syrup. It's a zero calorie Walden Farms pancake syrup, just for more sweetness in the crust. Mix it all together. And then I plopped it onto parchment paper in a baking dish, flattened out the crust, and then poured on my filling. This 
This is optional, but I created a little cinnamon syrup swirl on top. Just mixed about two tablespoons of syrup, um, calorie free syrup, with about a teaspoon or so of cinnamon, and just plopped it on. Made whatever design you want, just for some cuteness and some flavor. You're gonna pop it into the oven for 30 minutes at 250 Fahrenheit, and when that's up, you'll change it to 220 Fahrenheit and cook it for 45 more minutes. Then, once it's done, let it cool completely and for a few hours in the fridge. You should have your cheesecake all ready to cut up the next morning. Look how delicious it looks. It is so good. It was so like cheesecakey and thick and moist and it tasted like I was eating five-star restaurant cheesecake, but it was packed with protein and here are the macros right now. If I never came down, always on the rise, I forgot about ground. I just wanna live on the top. So I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Pretty simple, not that hard to follow, and try it out. It's actually very delicious and it tastes like legit cheesecake. So thank you again for watching. Thank you Brandon Campbell for letting me put this video up and I will hopefully see you all on my channel, youtube.com slash josievmai and I'll see you guys later. Bye!